People who had sex with a celebrity, how was it? A close friend slept with a backstreet boy, AJ, in his hotel room after a show in our city. She said there was about 10 minutes of sex and 3 hours listening to his new personal music project on his laptop. Both sucked. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. The worst part about blowing Willie Nelson was afterwards when he told me he wasn't actually Willie Nelson. Turns out you were just blowing Nelson's Willie. I'll see myself out. As a blind woman he was surprised at the number of celebrities that hang out at my local bar and keep hitting on me. Haha ha, nice. By the way I'm John Stamos. Can I take you out for a drink? Friend of a friend allegedly slept with the Kings of Leon singer back in the day. Small package and gave her an STD was the report. Sex is on fire always makes me laugh for this reason. So glad I'm not famous, would hate for millions of people to know about my small package. I had a neighbor that blew Bruno Mars. Her husband took exception to that and bailed. Before the revivalists got their big break with their pop hit on the radio, I was at a festival in the woods about 10 years ago watching them at a 3 p.m. set. Small crowd. They were jamming and I noticed the guy next to me scowling, standing still with his arms folded. I jokingly attempted to spark a convo about his demeanor as I was boogieing, I nudged him and asked something to the tune of why you so mad bro? His response was that he loved this band and at the reason he came to the festival and last night he discovered that his girlfriend left his tent and went and blew the lead singer. He was upset but had to get his money's worth even if it meant giving stank eye the whole set. This story is like a Greek tragedy. That man was standing in the ruins of his empire. I matched with a woman who was a top 50 tennis player on Tinder while I was at a conference. I figured it was a bot or just a scammer but since they agreed to meet me at the bar across from my hotel, I figured what was the worst that could happen. Chatted for 20 minutes and she agreed to go upstairs, I was a bit intimidated as I am not an athlete but I proceeded to give her a solidly mediocre 25 minutes of lovin'. She then left and unmatched me. So I guess it was fine, standard first time sex with an extra dose of awkward from my end where the person was better looking at a lot more fit than I'm used to but otherwise pretty much the same thing as non-celebrity sex. Game set on match. Someone here definitely has a kid with Nick Cannon. ITD be a statistical anomaly if they didn't. My best friend had a one night stand with John Stamos. She said he was very romantic passionate dot for just being a one night stand. Have mercy. A friend of mine thought she had sex with Kevin Costner but it was just some sleazy lawyer from Albuquerque. It's all good man. It was good, but she goes to a different school so you wouldn't know her. I had sex with Eartha Kid in an airplane bathroom. What, it came up organically. What, it's where my mind went your mind went years ago. She's currently a national level news journalist on TV. This was while she was still a cadet. After she got hers, she literally rolled over and fell asleep. Woke up the next morning to her in my shorts and a t-shirt she took from my wardrobe danced her way out of my place to a cab. Literally danced. While still wearing my clothes. Later on, one of her friends was knocking on my door. Apparently, the dress she wore was borrowed, so she sent her friend over to collect. I handed it over, along with the shoes and underwear. Her friend asked what she was supposed to do with those, and I kinda said it's a package deal as I'm not that guy that would keep those as trophies. Only saw her once again in the nightlife district of my city. She was stealing street sign. Then, Years later, she's on the news almost every night. Barbara Walters? Al Roker edit, holy crap, 3k upvotes for being intimate with Al Roker. Reddit you are so weird. I would like to thank the Academy for upvoting me this high. I also want to thank my mom for birthing me and my dad for his part in conception. I also want to thank NBC for making this all possible. Finally, Mr. Roker if you're ever in my neck of the woods let's smash. Gave him the old roker poker. When he finishes, and here's what's happening, in your neck of the woods. My older brother ditched me trying to hook up with Joan Jett. I was 15 or 16 at the time and she was in town for the Indy 500th or 4th of July, can't remember which one exactly, but we ran into her and she was extremely nice and talked to us for a couple of hours before she performed. Next thing I know my brother's friend is giving me a ride home because he had some other plans, turns out she was just being an actual genuinely nice person and my brother read that as her hitting on him.
Wish I could have been there for the rejection. Since she only likes girls he spent a lot of time for nothing. My ex is from Toronto and hooked up with the weekend. She said he was nice and asked if he could come on her face, she said yes. She was blinded by the white? I slept with Burton Cummings from the Guess Who. He was commando and there were smoked blunts in the ashtray. He also gave me the best oral sex. No one ever lived up to what he did, until about 30 years late. Other guys were good, but not that good. His crew told me he always picks one female, who seems to know his lyrics, out of the crowd, to sing to for the concert. It is nothing where he calls them out, just notices them and sings to them. The woman next to me was telling her friend how he kept looking at her while singing. I did not correct her. When he took a bow, I pointed at myself and then to him. He nodded. The next day I took him sightseeing. I mentioned he had not sung these eyes the night before. He sang it for me. Maybe about eight years later I saw him in Times Square. I stopped him and said hi. He knew who I was and even gave me the year we met. Overall, a good experience. That dude definitely looks like someone who can eat a mean box. His PR team is trying to figure out why Google searches of his just increased 1000%. Not me, but I know someone who ducked Polly Shore. Like a solid 12 years after Biodome Polly Shore. She literally describes it as exactly what you'd expect banging Polly Shore is like. Like wheezing the juice? I was dating a guy, and one night, he started playing a song by a somewhat obscure band I loved. I told him that I was really surprised and happy that he knew this song. He said, wait, do you actually not know who I am? He was in the band. Anyway, we kept dating for 10 years and then I married him. Sex is 1010. I'm just laughing at the idea of this dude playing his own band's music on a date. Coin toss odds at best when you date a musician. You're expecting the internet to be honest with a question like that? Hey! Some people are trying to write BuzzFeed articles over here. In the 60s, I made love to many, many people, often outdoors, in the mud and the rain, and it's possible a celebrity slipped in. There would be no way of knowing. Friend hooked up with Snoop and he only wanted to go down on her for hours. She said the whole time she was thinking Ong Snoop Dogg is eating me out right now lol. We does tend to give you the munchies. And dry mouth smile. One of the old ladies in my grandma's dementia ward used to tell this story to anyone who would listen about a time she once gave a handjob to Engelbert Humperdinck backstage at a concert. She was very enthusiastic in her recounting of this story. Take this for what you will. I thought you were ducking with me, but apparently that's a real person's name. The best part is, it's a stage name. Who the duck picks that is a stage name? Engelbert Humperdinck, by God. Vivian Vance pulled a dick like she was yanking a carrot out of the dirt. I'm surprised to see so many no one on Reddit has slept with a celebrity comments. I work in the film industry and let me tell you, a significant portion of actors are horn dogs like everyone else, and sleep with a lot of crew and extras. It's usually extras sleeping with each other or crew more than Florence Pugh hooking up with hot dog stand owner number three. Hot dog stand owner number three hey now. Joseph Gordon-Levitt really transformed into that role. One of my exes hooked up with Timothy Chalamet. She said he was cool. As Drake once said, I'm upset. Isn't he like kinda famous for spreading chlamydia all over his college campus? The clap heard round the school. It became an applause.